Hello, space fans, and welcome to another edition of Space Fan News. In this episode, people have been asking me for a long time, what are some of the first things that JWST is going to look at once it launches and deploys at the L2 point later this year? Well, in the first year of operation, NASA has announced that it is going to join the Event Horizon Telescope team and try and image the black hole at the center of our galaxy. Now you guys remember back in 2017, the Event Horizon Telescope released this image of the supermassive black hole around the galaxy known as M87. This was an enormous effort that required telescopes from around the Earth to come together to make an image of this central black hole, of the event horizon of this central black hole. It was a hard image to take, required a lot of collaboration of some very important, very expensive observatories from all over the world, and hours and hours of observations all put together in process to create this image. Well, the Event Horizon Telescope team want to take an image like this of the black hole at the center of our galaxy known as Sagittarius A-star. It's a 4 million solar mass black hole that's currently swirling with stars and has all kinds of cool things going on at the center of our galaxy, and these guys want to take an image of it. Well, they're going to get some help, it turns out, from the James Webb Space Telescope. Within the first year of operations, NASA has announced that it will look at the center of our galaxy in two of its infrared wavelength bands to try and help the collaboration coordinate their observations. And they need this coordination because it turns out that while the black hole in the center of our galaxy is closer to us, I mean, it's in our galaxy, it's also dimmer and it has these flickering flares that are going on in the material that's swirling around the black hole. And these flares are causing problems for the Event Horizon team to make observations properly. So JWST will look at the black hole while the observations are going on from all of the other telescopes around the world to let them know when the flares are occurring because they cannot see that in the radio wavelengths that they'll be observing at. Sagittarius A-star is one of the only black holes that astronomers know about that have this flaring. And the source and the mechanism of all of this is being debated pretty hotly right now by astronomers. They don't know when it starts, they don't know how bright it gets or if there's any kind of frequency to it. So having more observations of this in the infrared would be highly valuable. So JWST will point its telescope toward the center of our galaxy and measure this flaring while the other telescopes are taking their data. This could be days and hours and, and even months of, day of observations that occur. And it will record when the flaring occurs, when the, and the strength of these flares and their frequency, and they'll provide that information to the Event Horizon Telescope team, who can then use that in their processing and the combining of all the data from all the worldwide radio telescopes. This, uh, this will apparently, I think, help them in the processing because these flares are going to get in the way and make things a lot harder for them to give us a good image of Sagittarius A-star. The Event Horizon Telescope is truly one of the most amazing scientific collaborations we have going on right now. If you stop and think about it, we've got the most powerful radio telescopes from all over the world joining forces to image an object that's very faint and very far away, in the case of M87, millions of light years away. And they use very long baseline interferometry to connect all these different nodes around the planet. And it acts as a telescope that has a, pr a primary mirror that is basically the size of the Earth. And putting these images together is, a, is a, an amazing feat of, of, of logistics, if nothing else, because you've got to coordinate all these very busy, very high-in-demand telescopes to do the observations at a time that's conducive for everybody weather-wise. And, uh, and, and you have to have enough time uh, available in the observing schedule to do this. So they're gonna, they did this with M87 very successfully back in 2017. They're going to do it again to image Sagittarius A-star, only this time they're going to have the help of the most powerful space telescope ever put in orbit, JWST. And it's going to help them with this flaring issue that the Sagittarius A-star has to put together what I hope is going to, well, I know it will be one of the most amazing images of a black hole we've ever seen. If the M87 image is any guide, then we have a lot to look forward to coming from in the future from the Event Horizon Telescope team. So there you go. First year of operations, JWST is going to be doing a lot of things, you can be sure. But one of them 
is looking at the center of our galaxy in two different infrared wavelengths to help the Event Horizon Telescope team image the black hole at the center of our galaxy. Well, that's it for this week, space fans. Don't forget to check out our live streams every Tuesday and Thursday, 3 o'clock Eastern Time. And thank you all so much for watching. And as always, keep looking up.